IES Rust Raider. This is a unique blend of phosphoric acid, sodium bichromate, and surfactants that are formulated to react with rust to chemically convert it to an iron phosphate polymer coating. Now when applying a rust raider, it is very important that you use proper safety equipment. You want to wear gloves, you want to have eye protection, you want to provide adequate ventilation. In this video I'm doing it outside so that, that way I can uh, make sure that I have good air supply. Uh, you also want to protect the surrounding areas so that you don't get this material on any of the surrounding areas. It does have a, an acid in it. It's not a real strong acid, but it, it can, you know, kind of irritate your skin, you know, pretty badly. Uh, so you want to keep it off your skin. Okay, now, now here's a short video where I'm restoring a rusted fire pit that has been left outdoors for several years. Uh, before you start applying the rust raider, you want to remove all of the loose rust, paint. Uh, probably you should use a wire brush or use uh, pneumatic equipment or, you know, or sander, uh, but get as much of the rust off as you can. Then you want to thoroughly wipe it down with a clean cloth, wet it with a solvent or like mineral spirits. That should uh, that would, you know, get rid of any loose residue. When you're applying uh, the rust raider if you're using the spray bottle uh, you know adjust the spray so that you can get a good wet coat on all of the rusted areas you want to penetrate into every little crack and crevice so that everything is reacted all the rust is reacted and, and you're converting all of it so you leave no that behind it may be necessary even after you you do the first you know you do the one coat that you come back and do a second coat depending on how bad that rust is. Uh, this, this material will absorb into all the pores of the metal and, uh, and it might there might be so much rust there you, you know you need to have more of the rust raider to react with it. Here is uh, what it looks like 24 hours after I've applied it. Uh, that's, the, that's how long it takes for the conversion process. It'll turn black, kind of a grayish color. And, uh, and so uh, in order to prepare it for painting from this point, we'd recommend that you once again wipe it down with a clean cloth using a solvent on it to get rid of any, any loose residue. Uh, what I'm going to do with this fire pit is I'm going to paint it with a high temperature paint they use on exhaust systems or headers for automobiles. And because uh, what happened before is uh, the paint was not a high temperature paint, and uh, when the fire pit got hot, it just flaked off. So uh, I'm going to make sure that I use the proper paint. All right, so uh, if you want to etch metal with this material, you can too to prepare it for painting. Uh, there's a, a caption in, in the uh, text sheets that'll, that'll show you how to do that. And, and here's the finished product. Uh, after I painted it. Uh, thank you for watching.